All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I, this was another Guild War video I wasn't really too proud of, so instead, I'm just going to try and provide live commentary over what I was doing. I didn't really have a good time making this, but I guess I'll go ahead and I'll try something new, something that I think some of you have wanted, but just tell me how I'm doing. Tell me if you want if you want more of stuff like this or whatever. So basically, my whole idea that I was going for here was, oh hey, let's actually do some anti-AoE strats. So, the ultimate anti-AoE thing that I've always wanted to do is I wanted to do something that is anti-belly. So, the, you know the one that first one that just immediately comes to my head is Last Rider Crow. But unfortunately, he has a killer weakness. And that weakness is good old Bellion's fucking injury. And just so you know, oh hey, looky here, this one also happens to be injury. So, I don't know, man. I'm not a balanced person, but if there was some means of negating injury, recovering injury, some means of doing it, someone heals injury, I don't care. Just like, there's, there's no answer to injury. There's absolutely none. It's either kill the unit, or just kind of deal with it. Dude, fuck you, I guess. <laughs> so, basically what I do here is just, just very standard. Oh, hey, Inferno Kawazu, he's just going to basically do everything, and Krau's just kind of there to look pretty. Sure, he's going to cycle a fair bit, and hey, looky there, he's already got his S3 back. But, is it really helping? I would say not really, because he takes too long to ramp up. He's... Like, he's not really a threat until S3 number 3. And it's just... It's it's just... Last Rider Crowd needs a buff. I don't know why he still hasn't been buffed. Because I haven't seen him in the meta in quite a, quite a while. But, like, he has, like, all of the tools. He is so close to being that counter to Bellion. But if the Bellion is running injury, well, he's kind of crippled. But then again, that also depends on the actual luck that you get. So, thankfully, that's why Inferno Kawazu's here. He's basically just going to deal all of the damage anyway. So, now we're just having a wonderful, fun time fighting Mediator Cowric. And Mediator Cowric is just going to proc counter probably about six times while we're trying to whittle him down. It's very frustrating, because then it's like, oh cool, am I going to actually lose someone to someone who does no damage just because I can't get to my skill to kill this prick. Thankfully, that does not happen. But, <laughs> you can imagine while fighting this fight how frustrated I'm starting to get. Because <laughs> it just keeps happening. Oh, hey, cool, another counter. Is he going to counter every single attack and then eventually probably kill LR Crow? Not like it's really going to matter much because I don't use LR Crow anywhere else in this whole guild war, but like. That's a little frustrating, <laughs> just a smidge. And yeah, a whole, a whole bunch of nothing is happening. You know, typical Guild War shenanigans. Could have probably just hit auto at this point. But hey, whatevs. If they wanted to do anything interesting with LR Crow, I don't know, immunity to injury? Because you know what that would do? That would immediately turn him into like the best ever like AI tank for A-Ravi. But I don't know. I don't know balance. I'm, I'm an idiot. Don't listen to me. So, hey, looky there! There's the star of the show, Zahak. Good old Zahak. You know, that guy who pretty much does literally everything. Oh no, Mediator Cowrick got pushed back? Okay, well, let's just push him back up. Oh, I already have attack buff. Alright, let's go on ahead and injure something. And, oh hey, cool, you're crippled now. Good old Zahak. Best damn character in the business. Uh, so, yeah, the fight is almost already won. Just because all Zahak has to do is just get another hit in on a Ravi. But unfortunately, there's some RNG afoot here, boys. Because do you see that unit at the very bottom there? Her name is Archdemon Mercedes. And she likes to ruin your day. So first, let's get rid of cancer number one. So now we have to deal with cancer number two. Can you imagine what cancer number two is going to do? If you said, I'm going to counter almost every attack that you do and do follow-up AoE damage and with fairy tale for a nightmare, ding ding ding, you are a winner. We just ain't quite there yet. But yeah. Um, 
bad things almost happened. Case in point, number one. No seal, by the way. So the chances of that happening are pretty low. So, well, damn. I guess I'm going to put up a shield. Probably shouldn't have even attacked her. But you know what? Attack down's nice. Oh, good. She did it again. <laughs> Fun. Oh, look. S3. Fun. But thankfully, it's Doris's turn. So now we can just do incredibly based waifu stuff. Going ahead and push good old Zahak up to the front. And, oh, looky there. We can cleanse. Ah, so refreshing. And now, she is gone. Go away. Do not come back. And now, pretty much, it's just a whole bunch of, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's do nothing. So, the fight is already won. There's no reason to continue going any further. So, because nothing is happening, let's go on ahead and just share a quick swallow real quick. Here's our cup. Raise your cup. Have yourself a drink. Completely unnecessary, absolutely nothing. But hey, them's the commentary businesses. You're dealing with an absolute hack who has no idea what he's doing with any of his audio software and is only really, truly just fucking around at this point. But hey, this is where you guys comment. Comment, tell me what's going on, tell me what you like, tell me if you want this clipped, tell me if you want anything in particular. Because, well, I ain't gonna learn any other way. Oh goody, it's my favorite match of the entire thing. So basically, the idea here was, okay, well let's do some Selene, some based Selene shit, kill that Isaria, the thing that is the bane of my existence, and hopefully survive this Rimuru. Unfortunately, that Rimuru is on damage. And because that Rimuru is on damage, and because Ran just is using this nifty little tactic called Ran Never Loses, he hits my green. So now Selene is dead. And now because Selene is dead, I have two options. I can go into uh, the Rimuru with my Crow with S3, something I should have done, probably could have won, by the way, if I did that, but me being an absolute complete freaking idiot decides, you know what? I'm scared of Ran. I have trauma against Ran. Ran triggers the ever-loving shit out of me. I want to kill Ran. And because I do that, I have already lost the match. And because of that, oh, I didn't think this through. <laughs> I have to wait four turns to get my S3 back. And because of that, even though that that uh, Rimuru is rocking pretty low health, um, hey, you're fucked, boy. So you could probably already tell, I've lost. <laughs> I'm straight up lost. There is there is no winning this. No way at all. So let's just move on. Yes, Ran, I made a very big mistake. Oh, hey, look who it is again. It's Zog. Now, can you guys take a guess what's going to happen? <laughs> if you said Zahak is going to kill every threat on the board, you are correct. So Zahak is going to basically S3 into Rem, utterly fucking nuke it, and now he has invincibility. Because of said invincibility, Bellion will do no will do check fucking shit to him. And we also had barriers, so I don't care. We're pretty much sitting pretty at this point. So now all we have to do at this point is kill Bellion. We have won. This this fight is already over. So, yeah, whole bunch of nothing. Um, hey, Zahak, kill Bellion. We, we win. <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't even have to go into Bellion first. I went into a Ravi just because whatever, I guess. But yeah, the fight's already over. Going to ah, what a wonderful fight. I hate Ran. But anyway. Oh, good. Look who it is, guys. It's Zahak again. Now, if you guessed, oh, uh, Alencia's going to do something in this fight. Well, guess what? You would be 110% wrong. So... If I told you that Zahak was going to do literally fucking everything in this fight, would you believe me? <laughs> so, first things first, this Violet had a t had defense buff. I did not notice that. So, 
he didn't die. So we had to waste our a our Alencia's first turn on Violet. When I could have probably gotten away with using an S3, but I didn't want to use S3 yet because I need to strip this, right? So that's why we didn't use it. So now we have to wait. So Alencia has done fuck all so far. <laughs> So now we go into the shoe for the first turn. Anti-crit is a meme. Doesn't fucking work. Invincibility is a completely fair and balanced buff. So, okay, cool. We've taken no damage. Let's go into it again. Hey, lo hey LOL. Uh, Anti-crit is a meme. Didn't do jack shit. And... Well, the shoe's almost dead. So what do we do now? Okay, let's, let's do this. Hey, look. Anti-crit is a meme, still. So, at this point... Cool. Um, I guess technically you got two kills, Alencia, but you didn't really do anything. Um, Zahak did everything. Good old Zahak. So if you guys aren't convinced that you should build Zahak if you happen to have him, um, just fucking build Zahak. He's broken as shit. So, okay, cool. Next fight. Um, I can't even remember what happens here. I'm going to make a wild assumption and say Krau tanks all of Rimuru's hits and, um, Violet kills everything. Let's see if I was correct. So I'm going to assume I'm going into Rimuru. Okay, good. I am. I probably learned my lesson from the last time I fought the prick and he just completely destroyed me. Goody, goody. I did not miss. So then we go into this. And at this point, I think I've already won. Because I just have to hit the Rimuru with this. And it's a matter of, hey, will Violet dodge Bellion? And that's pretty much it at that point, because I don't think this Bellion is running injury. The Bellion is not running injury. So, anytime you're ever fighting Bellion, and your guildmates are kind enough to actually tell you if the Bellion is running, running injury or not, that is completely free if you have Rowana. If you have Rowana, and there's a Bellion there, uh, you can almost always run Rowana, because Rowana makes the entire fight free. <clears throat> so, at this point, um, the match is already over. It's it's already over, because all Violet has to do is pretty much just auto into Bellion, and I will eventually win. You know, because Rylet is a very, very, very balanced character. He will uh, do absolutely absurd damage, and I'm not even complaining about his uh, the buff that he got. If you're if you're going into fighting a violet and or a violet or a rylet and you don't have an evasion answer, um, you're an idiot. Because <laughs> quite frankly, right side RNG OP. We we all know this. We have dealt with this for years. If you're ever dealing with right side RNG, you are more than likely going to lose. That is just the way it is. So, at this point, the fight's already over. The only way that this person could possibly win at this point is if that Ravi is actually on counter set, and every time Violet hits it, um, it would counter me. I happen to think that this Ravi is not on counter, but Violet is doing so much goddamn damage that at this point, I don't give a fuck. Looky there, Timeless Anchor. So I'm pretty sure it's not on counter. <clears throat> so, yeah, um... That's uh, pretty much it. Um, I kind of hope you guys enjoyed my terrible commentary. <laughs> I really don't think this is kind of worth it. Um, I'll figure something out in post. I'll put some music behind this. I, you're probably already listening to it now. Doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, that was uh, my oh-so-wonderful Guild War. And here are our stats. I'm... I don't really have anything else to really say at this point. Um, the only thing I would really like is I'm not too thrilled with the buffs that we recently got last time. A lot of people were probably kind of confused, thinking I was, like, really upset over the Euphine changes. Um, hey, newsflash, guys, I don't give a flying fuck about Euphine. I, I, really, I really don't care. I don't use the character. That is a rant that was for Mikia in particular. If you watch his, the most recent video that came out on the 25th, that was for Christmas, featuring post-Euphine and her damage. He is only upset with that because, one, he does not own Zio. He does not own, like, a very good um, option for doing silence openings. And, well, it just kind of limits your options. 
So if you don't have like those really, really aggro, super fast, like opener type units that deal silence and shit, well, these buffs for you, Fiend, are kind of shit. <laughs> so like if you don't have those characters, like this buff didn't really do shit for you. But like that was kind of like the whole point of that whole thing. So like that's that's what's going on with that. But ultimately, all in all, I really, really appreciate it. if you are all still listening to the rambling of my voice. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm recording this on the 25th, that is Christmas. So if you are watching this on the 26th, I hope you had a wonderfully, a wonderful Merry Christmas. And I want you to have a good rest of your day. Have a good one now. See ya. Bye.